What's a super genius way to hide something in your house? My mother and grandmother both have cold cash storage. It's a Tupperware in the freezers with cash in it. Edit. Thank you very much for wanting to reply. But the frozen assets and cold hard cash jokes has been made quite few times already. Please. Stop. I'm starting to regret making this comment. Screw the base of a lamp. Like the entire base and put what you want to hide inside the base. Then screw the base back on. When was the last time you or anyone you know has completely dissembled a lamp? Edit. I had no idea so many people wouldn't take my question rhetorically lol. Fake electrical outlet. Looks like a regular outlet but has no wiring. You can keep a small wad of cash or anything in similar size. You know. I have an electrical socket in my house that doesn't work. Just one. I'm going to check it tonight. Maybe I have a secret gift from the previous owners. Edit. No cash. It's just ducked. Thanks for the heads up on the circuit breaker. Everyone. Didn't die. Inside a Holmes and Watson DVD case. It will never be opened. Definitely not worth stealing. Only risk is someone possibly decides to incinerate it. Surely a thief would be suspicious that someone actually owns a copy of Holmes and Watson and check it immediately. Inside a hollowed out door. No one's going to smash a door to pieces on the off chance something is inside it. No one's going to throw away or sell replace a door while you're at work. And it's very unlikely that someone will cause enough damage to an interior door to wreck it. it. The top half Marizo, though. If you have large dogs who like to chew their way through things. Alternatively, in the hollowed out walls of a heavy safe you keep in the garage. With the safe door open, or at least not locked. Only slightly more likely to be sold to a scrap dealer or local safe enthusiast while you're at work. Amusing variation. In a hollowed out safe vault door you have mounted into a wall somewhere. With the combination stamped into a metal tag tied to the handle. If there's any actual space behind the door. Fill it with cheap pawn shop trophies. Because, after all, who takes the time and effort to steal or slice up a safe they can see is empty. False bottom to your cat's litter box. Nobody's gonna dig through cat shit to look for your stuff. Former probation officer here. I had someone on supervision that had a complaint called in. So had to go check it out. Never could find anything. Then I noticed a litter box. He didn't list any pets on his paperwork. I asked where the cat was. He said the cat is always hiding. I gave him that. My girlfriend had a cat that would disappear whenever someone came over. But I was with a different officer that day. And he said he is highly allergic to cats and felt nothing. Three pounds of weed was vacuum sealed and under the cat litter. There was no cat. Also some benzos. Inside of trophies. Mine are all hollow. That would require being good at something. As a kid, I saw that whomever had put the floor trim in my room didn't do a great job measuring. There was a section in one corner of the room, under my bed, that was about 18 inches long and held in with a single nail. I found that I could simply pull it out, and the whole thing would swing out like a door. So I took a knife and cut out the drywall. Just enough that if the trim was replaced, you'd never see the hole. I kept everything in there from porn to cash to weed. As a paranoid child with fairly conservative parents, I thought of all sorts of creative places to hide things. I should be a law enforcement consultant. I can find any hiding place. Inside sharpies. If you gently bend and wiggle the barrel, grey portion, and the ferrule, colored bit that holds the nib, you can separate them and remove the reservoir, ink. It's a great place to hide money, or a joint cigarette, while still leaving a working nib under the cap. Larger sharpies like a magnum barrel, metal ones, use glue on the ferrule so it's more difficult to separate those sharpies. Edit. Spelling ferrule. Our family has always kept loads of cash and other valuable in the base of the tall grandfather clock. It's a natural hiding place because the clock's front door requires a hidden key to open it. It's dark down inside grandfather's bottom. Better still, the substantial pendulum swinging above with the three heavy hanging weights for the action and chime rods totally obscure what's stashed deep down inside the clock case. It's dark down inside grandfather's bottom. You don't say. 
I used to think I could hide my weed from my mom and the towel in the bass drum of my drum set. One day I reached in and found a note instead. It said not as smart as you think you are, so not that way. If she's not a drummer, she wouldn't understand the towel and would assume it was nonsense you made up to hide stuff. If she was a drummer, she'd definitely had that thought before about it being a good hiding place because it seems so innocuous. I would have thought that was a genius way to hide stuff but the older I get the more I understand how my own mom's brain works. Treat it as being super extra important so you hide it in a super extra important place in the house. Then tell yourself you'll always remember where it is because it's in that super extra important place. In my experience, you'll never find it again. Friend of mine, ex-criminal, had that problem when police raided his house. The gun he owned was not legal so he threw it in a pot full of banes. While they were on a stew, cooking, he saved his ass. Sorry for bad English though. Did he still eat the stew? Of course he did. Leftover gun. Throw it in baby. You've got the stew going. One time I was playing hide and seek with my niece. I just sat down at the table with everyone else. Took her about a half hour to find me. If you're trying to hide something from me, you just need to put it in the fridge or the cupboard. Front and center. Me. Hey. I can't find the apple sauce. Them. It's in the cupboard with all the other sauces. Me. No it's not. Them. No. It's definitely in there. I put it there an hour ago. Me. I'm telling you. I just looked and it's not there. Them. Fine. I'll show you. Gets up. Goes to cupboard. Opens it. Points to apple sauce in plain sight. Me. Dot. Yeah that wasn't there before. Put it wherever you keep losing your keys. If you lose your keys often put them in the fridge with your lunch. Can't leave without keys and if you forget lunch now you got keys and a lunch. Have a triple monitor mount where the main pipe everything attaches to. Well, pop the cap off that pipe. I 3D printed a long tubular container with several compartments and boom. Hidey spot that no one would ever check. Unless they search your computer too. Hum. There's a CAD file on here called Fleshlight Hider 2.0. I just hid something inside a jar, put a toilet paper tube in the middle, then fill the sides with dog food biscuits. I have a Barbasol shaving can that unscrews from the bottom, similar to where Newman kept the Dino DNA in Jurassic Park. Same but it's a carpet shampoo can. Had a search warrant or two executed on my house back in my younger days and the cops didn't find a thing. But I had two bottles of this carpet shampoo and not a lick of carpet in the whole house. My house was robbed once. They cut the silk liner out of a really nice fedora from Havana. Kicked holes in the back of all the closets and certain walls. Disassembled electronics. Pulled all the books off the bookshelf. Moved around all the appliances. Cut holes in couch cushions and mattresses. Etc. However, they found no valuables because it's my second home. And I don't leave any cash or jewelry laying around. A lot of these ideas may be good for hiding things from people that live with you. But if you're looking to hide something from a would-be thief get a safety deposit box. Edit for clarification. The criminals were apprehended. They were local landscapers who knew I wouldn't be around for long periods. They were found with a lot of amphetamines which could explain their interesting tactics. No I am not a drug dealer. I guess safe deposit boxes aren't as safe as I thought. I don't wear fedoras. I promise. So you're saying buy a decoy house? Brilliant. I keep my decoy house in front of my real house. It's actually the gate house. But don't tell the burglars. It's just between us okay. Inside electronics. A lot of electronics has spare room inside. Fourth wall and closet. Either the back of the closet. Top of the closet. Or a wall that doesn't have a door next to it. Harder to see the missing space. Drawers. False bottom. Underneath a drawer. Or tape behind a drawer. On top of cabinets. Especially with a false top to cover whatever you're hiding. Behind the backing of a picture. Best with those cheap photo frames that are easy to disassemble. False middle to a bottle of soda. Toilet tank. Taped up under sink near the front board. Make your own false book. Works best with large bookcase. Inside a large chair or couch that's not properly sealed up underneath. 
behind washing machine, under dishwasher, none of these will stop a dedicated person from finding them. A few of the appliance based ones can be discovered if someone else does a repair on them. A few require some effort to make false cavities, but between the variety it will be hard to figure out where. Become a hoarder. Fill your house with every piece of random junk you come across. Anything you own will become hidden. When I was a teenager I got my hands on a Playboy magazine. This was just before we had internet at home, which changed the game of course. My mom knew I had it but I was just old enough where she decided to tolerate a few boobs. Still, in the conversation we had about it, she bet that if I was trying to hide a magazine from her, she would be able to find it. I accepted her challenge and told her to give me a little while to come up with hiding place. I had a chair with a cushion made of foam with a fabric cover, like a typical couch cushion. I removed the fabric cover and cut a slit into the foam, inserting the magazine in the middle of the cushion. I then turned the cushion around so that the slit was on the inside and couldn't be seen if you unzipped it. I put the foam back in the cushion and put it back on the chair. Couldn't feel anything sitting on it. My mom searched for a good while and could not find it. I think even if someone tore your house up completely they likely wouldn't take the foam out of the couch cushions and carefully inspect it from all sides. Thieves don't care about your shit. If they think you have something they want. Egg they think you keep large amounts of cash drugs etc in your house. They'll just slash your cushions lounges etc looking for it. A common thief isn't going to go through as much effort as say, a gang member who suspects you have cash drugs and is hunting for it. Though in the end I suspect this thread is more for hiding things from notice rather than hiding things from someone who knows it's there. Hid my stuff in my guitar amp's back cavity. Same can apply for any speaker box. Edit. I meant from parents and siblings, not from burglars. Cops search amp cavities if you're transporting and get pulled over. For your information allegedly. My idea for storing smallish amounts of illegal shit you don't want to get caught with is to tie a bungee cord to the top of the chimney and pull it down into the fireplace. The package is then attached to the bungee. Normal operation is that the package site inside the chimney about 1 meter or so above the fireplace so it is just out of arm's reach. In an emergency I can pull a lever that fires the package out of the chimney at full force hopefully getting enough distance that it won't easily be found by the rosers. Hopefully it will get enough distance, as I'm sure they'll be curious. Hello sir, may we have a moment of your time? Certainly. One moment officers, walks out of sight, a clunk is heard, and a small package fires out of the chimney into the distance. Damn cat. Anyway, what can I do for you? It's light and small. I split some of the seams on the side bottom of blackout drapes and stitched in a pocket and velcro. It's pretty much invisible, and I doubt people robbing the house want to disturb the drapes. I use it to stash cash, for larger stuff. I have a wood fireplace, so we have decorative wood sitting next to it. I split a log, hollowed it out a bit with a drill use it to hide a bunch of spare keys, safe keys, etc. I made these things while I was recovering from an injury and super bored. On the positive side, I think nobody will look in my places. On a negative side if there's ever a fire the neighbors will think I'm insane when I save a blackout drape and a log. Edit. You guys are nuts. My address is redacted redacted saint. Redacted. Redacted redacted USA. I have had some fun thinking about all the would-be robbers rifling through decorative fire logs and stealing blackout drapes. Honestly it would make some amateur slash junior detectives scratch their heads and that's enough to make me happy. Love you all. I ex hid wads of $100s in the mouth of a VCR. I had an encyclopedia set that no one else ever messed with. I used to hide money in the M book on the money page. Kind of obvious I know, but no one ever found it. A. Build your own home. B. Do X. C. Tell no one. D. Under no circumstances post it to the internet. I knew a guy in college who would always show up to parties with a clear container filled with cereal. One time he opened it up and pulled out a bag of weed. We all got stoned. And then he found some milk and ate his cereal. Pretty genius other than trusting the milk at a college house. If it's flat, 
money in books you can repurpose empty food and cleaner containers to hide bigger objects next question what are the super genius passwords to your bank accounts PSSWORD. if you want to be really tricky add a one to the end no one will ever guess it Secret rooms go in the basement along the perimeter completely underground. If you put a secret room upstairs, the rest of the house won't make physical sense to the astute observer. My boyfriend is tall. Anything I don't want him to see goes at the back of the lowest shelf. And whatever he doesn't want you to see is at the back of the highest shelf. Happy hunting. Best comment of the day. When I was 18. I moved out of my parents to kind of a sketchy neighborhood. My grandma, who grew up in Detroit, advised me to hide cash in an empty bar soap box. Thought it was a good idea and did so. First time I had guests over, I hear from the bathroom. Hey Bingus, why do you have all this cash in a soap box? Doesn't work. <laughs>